this is an uber battle against Wild Chase. Uh, we had this on his stream one time recently. Uh, yeah. I haven't uber battled in at least a year, uh, so I'm not very good. This team isn't very good. I still like it. I'm gonna change it up a little bit though after this because it's not... I see things that I could improve with it. But anyway, uh, it was fun battle. Fun battle. So that's why I'm posting it. This will be the last battle on my channel for like two weeks uh, because I'm going to be traveling uh, and I won't be back for a couple weeks. So don't expect um, any battles in that amount of time. Yeah. But I will be back and then I will upload again. So, don't worry, I won't leave forever, just a couple weeks. Don't complain, not like you would. Anyway, start the battle. Okay, okay he's got like a sun team going on, and I have like a rain team, so that's pretty fun. He's gonna lead off with his Genesect though, I'm gonna lead off with Jingle, the Kyogre. And I'm going to switch out because I don't want to take U-turn, and I see that Jingle is pretty useful against his team. Being that his team is a sun team, and I'm, my team is a rain team, so I need to win the weather war! So, send in Caesar, because that's the best thing I have to take a U-turn. He's going to send in Groudon, though, and I don't want to stay in because sometimes Groudon runs, like, fire punch and stuff. That's why I didn't U-turn, because I knew that I would probably be slower because Groudon has like base 90 and I have base like 60 something, so yeah. I'm gonna surf now, and he switches in Rayquaza, which tells me that he thinks that I'm like choiced, and he goes for the Earthquake, predicting my switch into like Jirachi or something, and I Ice Beam, so that's great! I was like, yes, he thinks I'm Scarfed, or something, but I'm Lumberry to take on the Darkrai and stuff, so that's pretty fun. I love when I can just like fake an item, you know? It's just so fun. But I take the side strike thing very well because I am a defensive Jirachi. And yeah, he sends back in Groudon, which is kind of a pain. And I'm just gonna U turn now. Uh, I could have like wished or something and then gone into Kyogre, and maybe that would have been cool, but I just U turn. And I go into Grass Arceus, which is like super fun. Like, it was, I was so excited to use it. And he sends in Ho-Oh. Uh, I didn't really predict that. If I had, I would have gone for a Thunder Wave, but I just set up my rocks because I knew he was going to switch. Uh, now I go into Boop because it's like the best thing that I have to take on the Ho-Oh. Uh, I now know that he's like the Flame Charge set, which is good to know at least that he's not like choiced or something. Uh, I go for the Bolt Strike. I should have predicted the Groudon switch, but I just I saw the Ho-Oh and I was like, <gasps> MUST HIT! So. I don't know, I could have done a lot better if I just put on my thinking cap and, you know, predicted properly. So now I'm gonna send this in, and I predict that he's actually gonna stay in predicting me to, like, predict that, you know, and I go for the grass move, and that does nothing to the Genesect, so that's kind of sad. Grass Knot is pretty dang good in Ubers, apparently, I don't know. Ubers is weird, it's like all... Things that resist grass and psychic and stuff, and just like, I don't know, it's dragons and steel types and heavy things, and I don't know, it's just weird. But uh, I have Jirachi in here, and I'm just gonna go for the wish now, because I just wanna pass a wish to something. Jirachi isn't like really necessary, but he dragon tails go into boop, and that's not really what I want. I would have preferred to go into like. Kyogre or something. So now I make the mistake of going for the Draco Meteor because I want to see like maybe it'll kill, but it doesn't. Still is a chunk though, so now I can like go in and kill the Groudon hopefully with something else, uh, but still I just... Mm, and nothing gets the wish because I die. So now I'm gonna send in Kyogre and I live with stealth rocks and stuff and I'm just gonna go for the surf and I was kind of worried that I wouldn't outspeed because I kind of, I think I run like a minus speed nature in order to be slower than Groudon uh, so I win the weather war if we go lead off with our weather Pokemon, I don't know but I said in Caesar now, he's gonna set up spikes and that's kind of dumb and I'm gonna pursuit now and I was worried because he didn't switch out that I wouldn't kill but I did, which is cool uh, so now 
kill off the thing. He's gonna go and uh-oh, when I can't do anything, I can struggle, but that's it. Yeah, so I go into my Palkia, because I'm like, okay, I can live a hit, and then kill him with the Surf. And I really, really wish that I was Scarf, but I'm not, so I can't outspeed. I am actually like a Focus Punch sub-variant, which might seem stupid, but I did it because like then I'd have something for Ferrothorn and stuff, and it just- I don't live a Brave Bird, which is ridiculous, like, I don't know, weak Palkia, just I'm really disappointed in Palkia, like, this battle, he needs to step it up. Uh, but now, I'm probably gonna make that Palkia Scarf, because that would have been very useful right now, because that hoe would be dead. So now I send in Grass Arceus, like, okay, Grass Arceus against ho oh, who's gonna win? So I then wave it, and I'm just gonna recover, whatever. I can take on this ho -Oh, it's fine, it's fine. He's gonna break Bird, that's not gonna do anything, whatever. Grass Arceus doesn't care. I can outspeed because he's paralyzed and I can just recover again. That's exactly what I do. What am I doing? I don't know. Because he has the roost. He has everything. Two stab moves to hit me. Super effective. I just don't die. I get the burn, which kind of sucks. That would have helped if I was not burned. And at this point, I'm like, well, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. Because I have Caesar, Jirachi, and this stupid grass Arceus. He killed all my guys that resist his fire moves. So that kind of sucks. So now I'm hoping, well, okay, he should probably kill me so that he doesn't get enough speed boost to, like, outspeed my things, even though he's paralyzed. Like, I don't know, I was kind of afraid that he was going to do that, but... So I stop recovering, and I die, which is overall the best thing. I should run Rock Slide just randomly on this thing, that's what I should do. Some. So I sit in Jirachi, and I'm like, okay, Iron Head time, and he flinches, and so I'm like, oh. Okay, so I can kind of almost win if I keep flinching him, but he switches up, and I don't predict that, and if I had predicted that and gone for the Thunder Wave, because I have Thunder Wave on this thing too, I could have, like, that would have been great, that would have been great, so I gotta switch out, because my, I think he's gonna U-turn. And Snazzers is the best thing to take that, like, it might seem like it was dumb to switch, but I knew Snazzers could take it, and I knew that I could just come in and, like, bullet punch whatever the heck comes in, because Genesect probably can't take two bullet punches after Stealth Rock ho -Oh probably can't take a bullet punch or two, you know? It was, like, the best move, honestly. So, I get killed off with an Aura Sphere, because bullet punch doesn't kill. And now, I can't outspeed, so he's just going to self-destruct. So, I lose. Good game, Chase. That was a pretty fun battle. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how I played. I mean, because I'm not really used to Ubers, but I think I did okay. At least in the beginning. Maybe not towards the end, but yeah. So, so I will see you all in like two weeks. Uh, yep.